guys welcome back to the cruise with esther my name is esther Egravoy, and thank you so much for stopping by i hope you all are doing great today so there might be good news for spouses of u.s citizens who have illegal immigration status in the u.s according to the data by fwd.us there are 1.1 million undocumented spouses that are married to u.s citizens on average and um, these undocumented spouses have lived in the u.s for 16 years and have been married to their u.s citizen spouses for so so many years that's why the biden administration is looking to provide temporary legal status and work permits to immigrants in the u.s by actually expanding the eligibility for what they call parole in place to spouses of u.s citizens as this would actually help keep families together and also increase economic um, contributions parole in place currently exists though but only if you are the spouse widower or widow parent son or daughter of an active duty member of the u.s armed forces or you are one of those that i mentioned to an individual in the selected reserve of the ready reserve or you are either a spouse a parent a son <laughs> to a military veteran whether living or deceased as long as he or she was not dishonorably discharged so only if you meet this above um, the above criteria that i just mentioned that you can apply for parole in place so that's just to show you that this already exists um the biden administration just wants to use that opportunity to extend the parole in place for those that are married to u.s citizens but undocumented in the u.s so if you don't exactly know what being undocumented means in the u.s undocumented immigrants are individuals who have either you know illegally entered the u.s without inspection or legally entered the u.s with a valid non-immigrant visas but these visas have actually expired so they lived in the united states without legal immigration status guys they are not provided work authorizations and there are no pathways for them to gain citizenship so immigration officers actually have the power to interrogate search arrest and detain undocumented immigrants in the u.s so let me just say for instance you came into the u.s with a b1 or b2 visa that is a tourist visa and you stayed more than the time that was given that you could stay you know in the u.s normally they give you six months to stay if you stay a day more than that six months that was allocated to you that actually makes you an illegal immigrant and you could be banned from entering the u.s for a long period of time okay so guys at the time of recording this video nothing has been finalized but i will definitely keep you updated if this comes into place as this temporary status would provide access for um, undocumented immigrants to work permits and potentially a part a path to citizenship so let's keep our fingers crossed so thank you for sticking with me till the end of this video so what do you guys think do you think this is a good idea for the biden administration to you know put into law please tell us in the comment section below and don't forget to like share and subscribe to this video for more informational videos that will help you stay charming stay fabulous stay healthy and stay blessed so see you in my next video bye